Hello, YouTubers, friends, compatriots. Who like your shows definitely starts best as fast as Jordanians. I'm a useful idiot. And uh, now, in this uh, little mini series about Middle East, I want to talk about Jordan. And uh, there's uh, talk about them closing their border with Syria recently because of uh, intense fighting in that region of Syria, just on their border. And uh, most of the stories seem to confirm that Jordan has closed their borders with Syria, but other stories seem to conflict that that has been done. But that said, what makes this story interesting for me is, uh, as I've talked about, there's layers of layers of bad actors and uh, interventions and all sorts of complexities to this and proxies. And uh, here is another layer. Again, we find out that the U.S. has been training a secular group of Syrian fighters in Jordan. American and foreign officials confirm this. And uh, the training has been conducted for several months now in an unspecified location, concentrating on Sunni and Bedouin and former members of the Syrian military. And, um, of course, we don't really know who these supposed American and foreign officials are. And, um, but we have little reason to doubt that this is indeed a tactic, and this is probably going on. When they say several months now, it's probably been uh, quite a bit longer than that. Uh, I would suggest a year or more. And um, to say that they're uh, using ex-members of Syrian military, um, that's rather interesting too. What are they doing? Recycling um, Syrian prisoners through a rehabilitation program or something like that? But this is the interesting part to me, is um, it's... A, not free Syrian army. So this is a complete separate operation than the free Syrian army that's trained inside Turkey. And um, I find that really fascinating. Uh, the operation is run by U.S. intelligence and it's called ongoing, which means this uh, situation will continue. And um, the uh, U.S. continues to stress that they are only providing non-lethal aid through this program, but uh, anyone who has a, a brain can tell that, well, if they are training a group that isn't the Free Syrian Army, and they're training them in Jordan, and they're concentrating on Sunni and Bedouin and former members of Syrian military, uh, I would suggest that they are lethal, because that's what they're training them to do, be lethal. And I'm sure they're arming them, too. And it turns out that Britain and France are also involved in this operation. So I'm going to uh, speculate here. So we have Britain and France involved. They are supplying the weapons. So the U.S. can say they aren't supplying the weapons. So there's that uh, plausible deniability again. And then uh, what they're doing is they're probably rehabilitating uh, prisoners and deserters and um, and. Uh, people that go to the other side from the Syrian military and then uh, Sunnis and then probably trying to get as many uh, people they can rely on from outside sources as possible including mercenaries and that's another bet of mine. I'm sure there's going to be a lot of um, US special forces and um, French special forces, British special forces and um, mercenaries um, all involved in this package because the fact that it's run by U.S. intelligence and that it isn't the, the free Syrian army makes me think that it's push comes to shove and uh, it's time for uh, the, the stranglehold on the Assad government to uh, go a little tighter. And uh, so there you have it. Uh, another interesting development and uh, another interesting provocation, the fact that Jordan can be uh, running an operation where they're training um, a rebel insurgent army to topple the Assad government. Once again, is a pretty provocative move. And uh, since uh, Assad has his back against the wall in Syria, of course, he can't do anything about all the provocative moves that are coming from uh, Lebanon and from Turkey and from all around him, including Jordan. I'm a useful idiot. Don't you be one too.